so welcome back to my channel my name is Nika and this is hi black girl a place where we live our lives at our absolute highest potential both spiritually financially and emotionally so if that sounds like something that you're interested in make sure you subscribe to this channel hit the button please thank you okay so in today's video we are going to be doing an updated apartment tour honestly my apartment tours have been like the most popular videos of my channel so i'm super super excited uh to be walking you guys through it i have bought a shit ton of more furniture like it's a little secret but i had a friend of a friend of a friend who let me know that the west elm sample sale was going on and so i'm really really excited to give you guys just like an updated tour plus i've become a much better video editor so i think this is going to be so much better than my first one but anyway i live in a rent controlled luxury building in williamsburg and I, my apartment is rent controlled and if you want to know how you can get your own rent controlled apartment in new york city go ahead and watch this video here i will put it in the cards but anyway i'm rambling let's get started with this tour come on let's go all right guys so we are in my bedroom right now not much has changed i just changed out my duvet for a comforter i got this comforter from the west elm sample sale it was only ten dollars mine blown but i really like the cute little like honeycomb detailed on it i think it gives a nice like little texture and then my throw blanket is from urban outfitters i think like the texture of like the kind of like cozy with like the honeycomb and then the scallop oh perfection i just absolutely love my bed my sheets are from brooklyn and i'll leave my discount code for brooklyn in down below um but honestly guys they're the softest sheets i have ever had in my life so if you are looking for new sheets i highly recommend them then i just got this new chair from the west elm sample sale it's i don't know i just love it i only paid like 150 for it and it's like an $800 chair but right now I just have Jacques cat bed in it Jacques is my cat <laughs> and I just put his bed in it because that's usually where he sleeps um I'm not sure I'll probably get more pillows or probably reorganize that a little bit more but right now that's just how it is then I have my office space right here this is where I edit all my YouTube videos and uh, yeah please ignore the clothes I just got a huge um, like yoga outfit like haul uh if you guys want to watch that i'll put the card here too then i just have this really cute mirror that i absolutely love it's from ikea but pro like financial tip ikea kept selling out of it and i honestly went on craigslist looked for the exact mirror and got it from like a random boutique and um park slope for like 80 dollars and i think it's originally like a $200 mirror. Have this cute little bookshelf here. Um, I like that it's floating, but I do think I'll, I'll probably do something different with the space eventually. Um, and yeah, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about anything in my room, but that is my bedroom. Okay, so this is my bathroom. I truly haven't done much in here, but I feel like you can't really have an apartment tour and not show the bathroom. So this is it. I absolutely love the bathtub. I love the shower. And there's not much that I would really do to this. Actually, pro tip, I learned to organize things by like stuff that I touch here on this side of the counter and then stuff that everyone touches on this side of the counter. It really helps with like my fear of germs. <laughs> it makes me feel good to know that like people aren't like touching my things. But other than that, like that's purely organizational. I don't think I'll do anything else in here. Um, I do though at one point want to put shelves just on this wall here. Um, but that's pretty much it. I really love my drawers. I have really nice storage underneath the sink. One little 
cabinet here behind the door. Um, with additional storage, I'm quickly running out of space and I truly just need to use my stuff, throw them away and stop buying more beauty stuff. But give this video a thumbs up if you're also a skincare addict like me. <laughs> All right, that's it for the bathroom. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're in my kitchen area, which probably like the biggest change I've done in this area is move this island like the long way. When I first did my apartment tour, you guys can see I have this piece of furniture, but I have it horizontal and it really just like kind of chopped off the kitchen from the living room area and now I just feel like it flows so much better in the apartment. So I highly recommend like if you have furniture and it's just not vibing, it's not working, get in touch with the feng shui of the space. Maybe just move some things around, put them in different directions, see how that makes like a difference in the way your apartment flows. Cause this baby, baby, this change, it truly, it, it, I feel like I have a whole new apartment literally just by moving this around. So this is probably one of my biggest and honestly best purchases for my kitchen area. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same. I am obsessed with these matte black cabinets. They even come with like a built-in little like wine rack, wine rack <laughs> that I really love. I just keep like some alcohol there. I'm working with how to like use the storage space underneath this and make it a little bit more aesthetic. Uh, but I think the biggest thing when it came to doing my apartment and my first priority was really just getting all the furniture in. I feel like putting things on the wall and making things aesthetically pleasing is something easy you can do once you have all the big pieces of furniture in. Um, so yeah, like I have a lot of storage space in my cabinets. I absolutely love them. I'm so working on like how to organize stuff. I love watching those YouTubers that have like all the like the organization pans and like all the like different cups for like their cereals and like, you know, all that stuff. So hopefully one day I'll get there. But my number one priority, like I said before, was just getting all the furniture I needed in my apartment in here first. And then later we can organize everything together and I just think it's gonna be amazing but yeah like I got this from Ikea and then most of my like kitchen stuff like I don't really have anything out that's too like uh, crazy yeah <laughs> so that's it for the kitchen let's go into my like living room area <laughs> all right guys we're here, we made it. This is my absolute favorite room in the apartment. It is my living room space. So I don't know if you can tell, but I got a brand new couch. The last one I had was brown and it was so funny because like I'd finally come to terms with it. I was like, I'm just gonna keep my brown couch. I don't care, like it's beautiful, I love it, it's fine. And then I went to the West Home Sample Sale and they had this couch for $400 and I waited. I was like, oh, you know, someone's probably gonna get it. Someone's probably gonna get it. And I don't know if I can get a guy to come lift it and move it into my apartment and blah, 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 blah. Long story short, it was there. No one purchased it and I was like, well, it's a sign. I love it so much. Like, so I grabbed it. Um, so I got this couch for about $400. This blanket I also got from the West Ham sample sale. It was about, ten dollars if not less but yeah i'm like really really happy with how i've decorated my living room space i still need to get another lamp just to kind of even out like how the tv area is i want to move this a little bit more into the center and then get the same black lamp i got just to go on the other side and i already have the lampshade for it i got this new chair just a cute little accent chair from the west ham sample sale as well it was about 40 dollars it's a little beat up but i'm like for 40 dollars how can you beat it? This little ottoman I got from 
Ikea. I really like it because my cat scratches it all the time and I just don't even care because the way the material is, it's pretty durable and it was so um, affordable that even if he messes it up, like whatever, like <laughs> I really don't care that much. I got this little table from another West Ham sample sale um, about two years ago. I've had it for forever. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Um, but it's really nice and I like the marble. I feel like it kind of lightens up the mood and it's just such good quality. I never want to get rid of it. Never. Um, <laughs> then I've been using this stool I got um, from a junk stop. <laughs> like a junk store basically I don't know if you're familiar in Williamsburg there's like a nothing but junk store um, and I wish they had two but they only had one and I when I first moved in here I needed a chair so I could work in um, so I just bought it and obviously since I've gotten new bar stools um, but now I just use it as kind of like a plant holder eventually I will get proper ones but yeah, I really love this rug. I got it from Overstock and I think it just helps bring the black from like the kitchen over into the living room in like a nice, subtle, tasteful way. But yeah, like y'all, I'm just so proud of myself because this living room came a really long way and if you have ever furnished an apartment, you know getting your living room together can be probably one of the most expensive rooms to do just because a couch can cost you anywhere from like $1,000 to $2,000 to $4,000 and so the fact that I got this for $400 like I just feel really blessed. Um, the TV actually my brother gave that to me for free. Um, the council I actually have a whole video about it. Um, I'll put in the cards here if you guys want to look at that but yeah the council I believe I got that from Overstock too. I just feel absolutely so blessed and I guess what's next for this apartment I really want to work on like just getting the little things together like finding something and some way to organize like my drawers in my bathroom and inside my kitchen cabinets and then just getting little like better storage solutions so like maybe some baskets to go underneath my kitchen island and then getting stuff up on the wall if you guys saw my new york city vlog i did buy some art from the whitney when i went with my friend corey but i just need to get like the frames which are expensive i didn't realize how expensive frames were <laughs> but i want to get some stuff on the wall maybe paint the walls a little bit so we'll see but i'm really really excited and looking forward to the future uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about rent control departments in New York City, uh, definitely watch my video, but feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. But thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Love you guys. Bye.